Hello, and welcome back to my kitchen again. I'm glad to have y'all here. Um, gives me somebody to talk to. I'm going to make something for you today that I make often for us for our meat for a meal, and it's made with ground beef. And what I do is I actually make two thin patties, and then between them, sometimes I only put cheese if the kids, the grandkids are going to be eating, but I like to put thin sliced onion and little strips of jalapeno in there, and then you put another one on top of it and seal it, and you bake it in foil for about 40, 45 minutes at 350, and it makes a really good meat to go with whatever vegetables or if you want to do a baked potato or whatever you want to put with it. But I just simply call them stuffed meat patties, and we really enjoy them. Now, I've got this handy little tool here that'll take the insides out of a jalapeno. So I'm doing that right quick. And I'm gonna slice this jalapeno in little pieces to use. It usually will take the whole shebang out of the middle. It's actually probably made for if you're gonna stuff them with cream cheese and grill them. But I'm just gonna uh, put little strips of it in my, I'll show you what I'm gonna do just a jiffy. Let me get the, get it all fixed here. See if I can aim this down where y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay. I've got my meat here, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put a glove on where I can. Wow! Mix my meat up. You know when you're working with hamburger. Uh, you don't want to mess with it any more than you have to. They say it makes it tough. Okay, I've got my hamburger in there, and I'm going to put about two tablespoons of onion powder, three-fourths of a teaspoon of garlic powder, and I've got a half a teaspoon of salt and just a few grinds of fresh black pepper, fresh ground. I've got a teaspoon of Worcestershire, about three-fourths of a teaspoon of, uh, is it Cholula? That's what I think I put in there. Okay, I'm going to mix this up. Then I'm going to make my um, patties, and I'll show you how I stuff them. And then I have a little trick I want to share with you about putting the foil in the pan. But right now, let me get this mixed up and show you how I make the patties. You just season it to your liking. If you don't like the things that I put in it, or if you wanted to add a little red pepper flakes, whatever, you know, I don't do it the same way every time. This is how I'm doing it today. I've told y'all I don't usually use a recipe and I don't measure. Normally I just dump a little of this and a little bit of that and it turns out tasty. So that's how I watched my aunts and my mama cook and that's how I learned to do it. We didn't really have a written recipe for everything. Okay, now I just take my meat, make me a little patty with it, and I just press it out as thin as I can get it. Now if you chop your onion up and put it into your beef, it's hard to seal it with the cheese in there because you got all those little bumps of poking through all over. So I make me a patty, make sure I can get it up off of there, and then I make another little one to go with it. Okay, I lay me a piece of cheese on it, and I put a few, I've sh I should have got the mandolin out, but I just did it with my knife, just as thin as I could get it, some onion, and then I'm going to put some little thin pieces, maybe I'll cut it this way, of the jalapeno, 
I seeded it where it won't be too spicy, but it'll just give it some flavor. Let's see here. Now, if you're really a garlic lover, and I am, but I didn't put it in this, I just used the powder. You could put some garlic in there. Now, you want to get your cheese up to where it's not sticking through the edges because you don't want it to ooze out while it's cooking, okay? I've just got my little stuffs on there. Now, I'm going to put this one on the top, and this is what I do. I go around the edges, and I seal it all the way around. Now this makes, these are pretty big. You might would want to split this one with somebody or a, you know, if you've got a hearty appetite, it'll be very filling. You see, I don't have any cheese sticking out anywhere on it. Now I'm gonna put this aside because I'll come back and make the rest of it in a minute and show you what I'm gonna do. But I wanna show you how I do the tin foil on the pan in case you don't know it. So I'm going to cook it in this 9 by 13 pan. But I'm going to turn it over on its head and I'm going to take my foil, shine it side up, and I'm going to press it around the pan to shape it. Have you ever tried to put foil down in something that you didn't want your juice to leak out of while it was cooking and you poked your fingernail through it or something. Well, this is how you prevent that. When you turn it back up on its bottom, this is shaped to the inside of the pan. See, and it's ready to go. Now I'm gonna spray the inside there with just a little bit of uh, cooking spray because sometimes they'll tend to stick. And what I do, I just put them in there and I'm gonna spray them with a little bit of duck fat for some extra flavor. Okay, I'm gonna make the other one or two, whatever I have enough meat to do. And then I will I'll bring y'all back and show you the pan with all the stuff in it. And we will uh, get it in the oven and then I'll bring you back when it's finished. Okay, I've got the patties done. I did two big ones, and then this one back here is like a fold over, kind of like you would do a little fried pie. And um, I'm gonna put them into the 350 degree oven. I'm gonna fill them in the tin foil. Let me see if I can get it turned around there where you can see. And because I like it, I always, uh, do a few turns of some more fresh black pepper on the top. But let me tell you what I do a lot of times. I'm just doing, I'm not doing it today because I don't have anybody here to help eat. Um, I will quarter a couple of potatoes in there and I'll wedge up some onion and I will put uh, maybe a wedge or two of raw cabbage. And you can put a little butter on the cabbage if you want to or not. It steams in the foil while the meat is cooking and you have a complete meal ready when you take it out in like 45 minutes. So that's an idea. I do uh, one pan meals a lot, whether it's chicken or what. I'll put my vegetables in there with it and it just makes it easy and I like easy. So I'm gonna pop this into the oven 350 for about 45 minutes and then I'll um, come back and show y'all the finished product. Now sometimes the cheese finds a way to get out of there. But if we're lucky, it'll stay in there today, and I'll show y'all what it looks like. I'll be back in a little bit. Well, hello, I'm back. The meat is done, and I have um, got one of the patties on a plate with some new potatoes that I had canned and cooked, and some of the coleslaw that I put on a video a few days ago. So I'm going to show it to you and then I'm going to uh, cut it and let you see what the inside looks like. Okay, here's the plate. 
and I will get a knife and a fork and cut a little bit of the meat and let you see it. And you can see the cheese inside. I'm going to get a little bite of it. See that cheese comes rushing out. That is delicious. Oh my goodness. Let's see what it tastes like. It's still very hot. That's good. Quick and easy. And the onion and the peppers got soft in the middle. And we were lucky the cheese stayed in. And so, you know, this is a good quick meal. And it would have been really quick if I had a, put my vegetables in there uh, to cook as the meat cooked. So try that sometimes if you haven't already. I want to thank you for coming into my kitchen and uh, sharing this cooking experience with me. And I hope this is something y'all can use for your family. Um, a lot of times when the kids are going to be here, the grandkids, instead of making two round patties and putting them together, I do some fold overs because nine times out of ten, they don't eat but half of it. Then you have a half left over. So you can make them half as big and it's easy to do a fold over. And so that's just an idea if you want to do that. Y'all have a blessed evening. Um, take care of yourself. I don't know what your weather is, but our weather's still rough here in Texas around Houston. So I'll be back tomorrow with another good video. So stay tuned, subscribe, and share. And just hit my channel to grow. This is fun. I'm enjoying it. And I have a whole drawer full of recipes to share with y'all. So stay tuned for the next one.